Calendar, Wikipedia Article Audio A calendar is a system of organizing days for social, religious, commercial, or administrative purposes. This is done by giving names to periods of time, typically days, weeks, months, and years. A date is the designation of a single, specific day within such a system. A calendar is also a physical record of such a system. A calendar can also mean a list of planned events, such as a court calendar or a partly or fully chronological list of documents, such as a calendar of wills. Periods in a calendar are usually, though not necessarily, synchronized with the cycle of the sun or the moon. The most common type of pre-modern calendar was the lunisolar calendar, a lunar calendar that occasionally adds one intercalary month to remain synchronized with the solar year over the long term. History Modern Reforms The term calendar is taken from calendi, the term for the first day of the month in the Roman calendar, related to the verb calera to call out referring to the calling of the new moon when it was first seen. Latin calendarium meant account book, register. The Latin term was adopted in Old French as calendar and from there in Middle English as calendar by the 13th century. The course of the sun and the moon are the most evident forms of timekeeping, and the year and lunation were most commonly used in pre-modern societies worldwide as time units. Nevertheless, the Roman calendar contained very ancient remnants of a pre-Etruscan ten-month solar year. The first recorded calendars date to the Bronze Age, dependent on the development of writing in the ancient Near East, the Egyptian, and Sumerian calendars. A large number of calendar systems which were based on the Babylonian calendar, and which were found in the ancient Near East, date from the Iron Age. Amongst such calendar systems was the calendar system of the Persian Empire, which in turn gave rise to the Zoroastrian calendar as well as the Hebrew calendar. A great number of Hellenic calendars developed in classical Greece, and with the Hellenistic period also influenced calendars outside of the immediate sphere of Greek influence giving rise to the various Hindu calendars as well as to the ancient Roman calendar. Calendars in antiquity were lunisolar, depending on the introduction of intercalary months to align the solar and the lunar years. This was mostly based on observation, but there may have been early attempts to model the pattern of intercalation algorithmically, as evidenced in the fragmentary 2nd century Kalinyi calendar. Calendar Systems The Roman calendar was reformed by Julius Caesar in 45 BC. The Julian calendar was no longer dependent on the observation of the new moon but simply followed an algorithm of introducing a leap day every four years. This created a dissociation of the calendar month from the lunation. The Islamic calendar is based on the prohibition of intercalation by Muhammad, an Islamic tradition dated to a sermon held on 9 Dhu al Hijjah A10. This resulted in an observation based lunar calendar that shifts relative to the seasons of the solar year. Solar calendars The first calendar reform of the early modern era was the Gregorian calendar introduced in 1582 based on the observation of a long-term shift between the Julian calendar and the solar year. There have been a number of modern proposals for reform of the calendar, such as the World Calendar, International Fixed Calendar, Holocene Calendar, and, recently, the Hanka Henry Permanent Calendar. Such ideas are mooted from time to time but have failed to gain traction because of the loss of continuity, massive upheaval in implementation, and religious objections. A full calendar system has a different calendar date for every day. 
Thus the week cycle is by itself not a full calendar system, neither is a system to name the days within a year without a system for identifying the years. Lunar Calendars The simplest calendar system just counts time periods from a reference date. This applies for the Julian day or Unix time. Virtually the only possible variation is using a different reference date, in particular, one less distant in the past to make the numbers smaller. Computations in these systems are just a matter of addition and subtraction. Luni Solar Calendars Other calendars have one larger units of time. Calendar Subdivisions Calendars that contain one level of cycles. Calendars with two levels of cycles. Other calendar types. Cycles can be synchronized with periodic phenomena. Very commonly a calendar includes more than one type of cycle, or has both cyclic and non-cyclic elements. Most calendars incorporate more complex cycles. For example, the vast majority of them track years, months, weeks, and days. The seven-day week is practically universal, though its use varies. It has run uninterrupted for millennia. Solar calendars assign a date to each solar day. A day may consist of the period between sunrise and sunset, with the following period of night or it may be a period between successive events such as two sunsets. The length of the interval between two such successive events may be allowed to vary slightly during the year, or it may be averaged into a mean solar day. Other types of calendar may also use a solar day. Not all calendars use the solar year as a unit. A lunar calendar is one in which days are numbered within each lunar phase cycle. Because the length of the lunar month is not an even fraction of the length of the tropical year, a purely lunar calendar quickly drifts against the seasons, which do not vary much near the equator. It does, however, stay constant with respect to other phenomena, notably tides. An example is the Islamic calendar. Alexander Mars Hack, in a controversial reading, believed that marks on a bone baton represented a lunar calendar. Other marked bones may also represent lunar calendars. Similarly, Michael Ropengluek believes that marks on a 15,000-year-old cave painting represent a lunar calendar. Arithmetic and Astronomical Calendars A lunisolar calendar is a lunar calendar that compensates by adding an extra month as needed to realign the months with the seasons. An example is the Hebrew calendar which uses a 19-year cycle. Complete and Incomplete Calendars Nearly all calendar systems group consecutive days into months and also into years. In a solar calendar a year approximates Earth's tropical year, traditionally used to facilitate the planning of agricultural activities. In a lunar calendar, the month approximates the cycle of the moon phase. Consecutive days may be grouped into other periods such as the week. Week and weekday This system is not very common, year and ordinal date within the year, e.g., the ISO 8601 Ordinal Date System. Because the number of days in the tropical year is not a whole number, a solar calendar must have a different number of days in different years. This may be handled, for example, by adding an extra day in leap years. The same applies to months in a lunar calendar and also the number of months in a year in a lunisolar calendar. This is generally known as intercalation. Even if a calendar is solar, but not lunar, the year cannot be divided entirely into months that never vary in length. Cultures may define other units of time, such as the week, 
for the purpose of scheduling regular activities that do not easily coincide with months or years. Many cultures use different baselines for their calendars starting years. For example, the year in Japan is based on the reign of the current emperor, 2006 was year 18 of the emperor Akihito. Year, month, and day most systems, including the Gregorian calendar, the Islamic calendar, the solar Hijri calendar and the Hebrew calendar, year, week, and weekday e.g., the ISO week date. An astronomical calendar is based on ongoing observation, examples are the religious Islamic calendar and the old religious Jewish calendar in the time of the Second Temple. Such a calendar is also referred to as an observation-based calendar. The advantage of such a calendar is that it is perfectly and perpetually accurate. The disadvantage is that working out when a particular date would occur is difficult. Calendars in use Gregorian calendar Religious calendars National calendars An arithmetic calendar is one that is based on a strict set of rules, an example is the current Jewish calendar. Such a calendar is also referred to as a rule-based calendar. The advantage of such a calendar is the ease of calculating when a particular date occurs. The disadvantage is imperfect accuracy. Furthermore, even if the calendar is very accurate, its accuracy diminishes slowly over time, owing to changes in Earth's rotation. This limits the lifetime of an accurate arithmetic calendar to a few thousand years. After then, the rules would need to be modified from observations made since the invention of the calendar. Calendars may be either complete or incomplete. Complete calendars provide a way of naming each consecutive day, while incomplete calendars do not. The early Roman calendar, which had no way of designating the days of the winter months other than to lump them together as winter, is an example of an incomplete calendar, while the Gregorian calendar is an example of a complete calendar. The primary practical use of a calendar is to identify days, to be informed about or to agree on a future event and to record an event that has happened. Days may be significant for agricultural, civil, religious, or social reasons. For example, a calendar provides a way to determine when to start planting or harvesting, which days are religious or civil holidays, which days mark the beginning and end of business accounting periods, and which days have legal significance, such as the day taxes are due or a contract expires. Also a calendar may, by identifying a day, provide other useful information about the day such as its season. Calendars are also used to help people manage their personal schedules, time, and activities, particularly when individuals have numerous work, school, and family commitments. People frequently use multiple systems and may keep both a business and family calendar to help prevent them from overcommitting their time. Calendars are also used as part of a complete timekeeping system, date and time of day together specify a moment in time. In the modern world, timekeepers can show time, date, and weekday. The Gregorian calendar is the de facto international standard, and is used almost everywhere in the world for civil purposes. It is a purely solar calendar, with a cycle of leap days in a 400-year cycle designed to keep the duration of the year aligned with the solar year. Each Gregorian year has either 365 or 366 days, amounting to an average Gregorian year of 365.2425 days. It was introduced in 1582 as a refinement to the Julian calendar which had been in use throughout the European Middle Ages, 
amounting to a 0.002% correction in the length of the year. Fiscal Calendars During the early modern period, however, its adoption was mostly limited to Roman Catholic nations, but by the 19th century, it became widely adopted worldwide for the sake of convenience in international trade. The last European country to adopt the reform was Greece, in 1923. The calendar epoch used by the Gregorian calendar is inherited from the medieval convention established by Dionysius Exegius and associated with the Julian calendar. The year number is variously given as AD or CE. The most important use of pre-modern calendars is keeping track of the liturgical year and the observation of religious feast days. Formats Calendaring Software While the Gregorian calendar is itself historically motivated in relation to the calculation of the Easter date, it is now in worldwide secular use as the de facto standard. Alongside the use of the Gregorian calendar for secular matters, there remain a number of calendars in use for religious purposes. Eastern Christians, including the Orthodox Church, use the Julian calendar. The Islamic calendar or Hijri calendar, is a lunar calendar consisting of 12 lunar months in a year of 354 or 355 days. It is used to date events in most of the Muslim countries, and used by Muslims everywhere to determine the proper day on which to celebrate Islamic holy days and festivals. Its epoch is the Hijra with an annual drift of 11 or 12 days, the seasonal relation is repeated approximately each 33 Islamic years. Various Hindu calendars remain in use in the Indian subcontinent, including the Nepali calendar, Bengali calendar, Malayalam calendar, Tamil calendar, Vikrama Sambat used in northern India, and Shalivahana calendar in the Deccan states. The Buddhist calendar and the traditional lunisolar calendars of Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar, Sri Lanka, and Thailand are also based on an older version of the Hindu calendar. Most of the Hindu calendars are inherited from a system first enunciated in Vedanga Jyotisha of Lagadha, standardized in the Sriya Siddhanta and subsequently reformed by astronomers such as Riabhat, Varhamira and Bhaskara II. The Hebrew calendar is used by Jews worldwide for religious and cultural affairs, also influences civil matters in Israel and can be used there for business dealings. Baha'is worldwide use the Baha'i calendar. The Chinese, Hebrew, Hindu, and Julian calendars are widely used for religious and social purposes. The Iranian calendar is used in Iran and some parts of Afghanistan. The Ethiopian calendar or Ethiopic calendar is the principal calendar used in Ethiopia and Eritrea, with the Oromo calendar also in use in some areas. In neighboring Somalia, the Somali calendar CO exists alongside the Gregorian and Islamic calendars. In Thailand, where the Thai solar calendar is used, the months and days have adopted the Western standard, although the years are still based on the traditional Buddhist calendar. A fiscal calendar generally means the accounting year of a government or a business. It is used for budgeting, keeping accounts, and taxation. It is a set of 12 months that may start at any date in a year. The U.S. government's fiscal year starts on October 1st and ends on September 30th. The government of India's fiscal year starts on April 1st and ends on March 31st. Small traditional businesses in India start the fiscal year on Diwali festival and end the day before the next year's Diwali festival. In accounting, a fiscal calendar fixes each month at a specific number of weeks to facilitate comparisons from month to month and year to year. 
January always has exactly four weeks, February has four weeks, March has five weeks, etc. Note that this calendar will normally need to add a 53rd week to every fifth or sixth year, which might be added to December or might not be, depending on how the organization uses those dates. There exists an international standard way to do this. The ISO week starts on a Monday, and ends on a Sunday. Week 1 is always the week that contains January 4th in the Gregorian calendar. The term calendar applies not only to a given scheme of timekeeping but also to a specific record or device displaying such a scheme, for example an appointment book in the form of a pocket calendar, desktop calendar, a wall calendar, etc. In a paper calendar one or two sheets can show a single day, a week, a month, or a year. If a sheet is for a single day, it easily shows the date and the weekday. If a sheet is for multiple days it shows a conversion table to convert from weekday to date and back. With a special pointing device, or by crossing out past days, it may indicate the current date and weekday. This is the most common usage of the word. In the USA Sunday is considered the first day of the week and so appears on the far left and Saturday the last day of the week appearing on the far right. In Britain the weekend may appear at the end of the week so the first day is Monday and the last day is Sunday. The US calendar display is also used in Britain. Citations Sources it is common to display the Gregorian calendar in separate monthly grids of seven columns and five to six rows, with the day of the month numbered in each cell, beginning with one. The sixth row is sometimes eliminated by marking 23 30 and 24 31 together as necessary. When working with weeks rather than months, a continuous format is sometimes more convenient where no blank cells are inserted to ensure that the first day of a new month begins on a fresh row. Calendaring software provides users with an electronic version of a calendar, and may additionally provide an appointment book, address book, or contact list. Calendaring is a standard feature of many PDAs, EDAs, and smartphones. The software may be a local package designed for individual use or may be a networked package that allows for the sharing of information between users.